Unfortunately, 3 million Americans suffer from a bleeding disorder and many depend on the kindness of strangers for life saving treatments. March is bleeding disorders awareness month and joining us now is Dr. Claudio Sandoval, senior director with Octofarmer and Tony Besa, father of a patient that depends on plasma treatments. Thank you both so much for joining us. And Tony, I want to start with you and your son, Andrew, who has an incurable disease. How did your family find out about his diagnosis? Yes, good morning. Uh, we found out Andrew had von Willebrand's disease at age three. We were accused of child abuse and we went to our pediatrician. Oh. And after numerous tests and a long period of time, we finally found out he had von Willebrand's 2A severe, which uh, involved factoring uh, with plasma driven product uh, on demand until he was about seven or eight, had the torn meniscus in his knee, and then he's been on demand twice a week ever since. That has to be very taxing for your family. Dr. Sandoval, how is plasma able to treat diseases like this? Yeah, so um, in, in Tony's case, son's case, he has von Willebrand's disease, uh, and in that disease, he's missing uh, a protein, uh, and it's not functioning normally. So from plasma, we're able to uh, extract uh, the proteins that Tony's son's need uh, needs to treat his disease. Well, uh, Tony, actually, how is your son doing this morning? How how is your family coping with that diagnosis? Well, it was it was hard to start at first. Um, and of course, he's the only one in our family that has a bleeding disorder. Um, no one else in our family has it, so it's hard to swallow. Where did it come from? How did he get it? What did we do wrong? That type of questions and answering going through our heads. But um, right now, he's 22 years old, and with the plasma treatment from donations that everybody gives. Uh, his life, standard of life has changed dramatic, dramatically for the better, and um, he's living life to his fullest. Well, how does it make you feel when you see people donating blood and plasma, things that are necessities for your son? Um, it makes me happy, um, and I want to thank them ahead of time and all those who have done it in the past, because when they give blood or plasma, they're actually saving someone's life. And in this case, it was my son's life. So Absolutely. I'm very thankful. And Dr. Sandoval, really quickly, if someone wanted to donate plasma and help others dealing with similar diseases, how can they do so? Um, sure. So they can go into a, uh, an Octoforma Plasma Center um, and get all the information that they need. Um, first time uh, arrivers will have a physical exam, but otherwise they come in, they can do a walk-in, make an appointment. Um, they can also go onto the internet, octopharmaplasma.com, and um, and make appointments, learn more about donating plasma, and, and also understand that each time, as Tony said, each time they donate plasma, they are truly saving someone's life. And really quickly, I do have one last question, 15 seconds. Is it important for you to be hydrated when you do that kind of donation? Uh, it is. We want folks to be well hydrated. Um, couple of glasses of water before they come in in the morning should do the trick. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.